Denise Smallman and I'm an Associate Professor in Science and Technology Studies at UCL in London. In this video, I'm going to talk about why we need to innovate in policy and how co-creation and co-design might help. Many of the problems we face today could be described as wicked problems. So they're problems which are complex, which have multiple stakeholders and involve multiple perspectives, and where the evidence is often fast moving and perhaps contradictory. Thinking about something like tackling air quality, that's not simply an environmental issue, it's similarly a health issue, and it's not going to be addressed by local government alone. It needs regional, national, and even international government to get the policy right. Other issues, like supporting an aging population, increasingly we're seeing the private sector involved in delivering services, as well as the voluntary sector and service users themselves. So it's not just the government alone that's responsible for tackling these things. And service users are increasingly being actively involved in shaping the way that they receive services. They have views about how services could and should be, and we can't afford not to listen to those views. But co-creation and co-design is about more than just widening the views and perspectives that feed into policymaking. Over the past few months, the Syscode project has been talking to policymakers across Europe about their experience of co-creation and co-design, and they've told us that it brings a lot more benefits. They've told us about how working with citizens and stakeholders has enabled them to come up with new solutions to problems that they hadn't imagined themselves before, particularly for huge challenges like tackling climate change. And they've told us how involving stakeholders and citizens in particular has given them the confidence to go further and faster with their policies and to take on much more ambitious challenges and ambitious goals. They've told us how working with stakeholders and getting the legitimacy that comes from citizen involvement has enabled them to draw in more stakeholders to action to tackle things like climate change and air pollution. But also, they've told us how the experience of being involved in decision making and policy making through the co-creation exercise has turned stakeholders into not just activists on those topics, but passionate advocates for the policies that are being implemented too. So the gains to be had are massive. But we know this isn't how policy making works usually, and sometimes the policy makers don't have the skills necessary to be able to take on these new participatory approaches. And that's what we hope to address and help you with in this online course. We also recognise that these new approaches don't come without a cost. They involve time and they involve resources. But my last comment that I'd like to leave you with is this. We know that the most cost-effective service is the one that you deliver right the first time. And that's what we believe we can do with co-creation, is help you make sure that you've got the right policy in the right place and right the first time.